fatty liver disease is a serious condition caused by the accumulation of fat in the liver. While heavy drinking is one cause of fatty liver disease, it is still possible to get it even if you don't drink. Doctors explain non-alcoholic fatty liver disease can be caused by an unhealthy diet, lack of exercise, or being overweight. This serious condition can lead to liver scarring and even liver cancer. Hi, Ms. Nixon. It's Hi. good to see you again. Nice to see you. Doctors' visits have not always been a pleasant experience for Fresno resident Evelyn Hickson. It's been challenging in different ways, you know, as someone who struggled with her weight all her life, the, when you sit down in front of a doctor and they do the you got to eat less, move more thing, it's like I've heard this all my life. Evelyn's list of health issues include fibromyalgia, rheumatoid arthritis, and anemia. She was also diagnosed with fatty liver disease. At my worst, what I feel is really extreme exhaustion, tired, I feel fluish. Dr. Marina Reutemann is the liver program director at UCSF Fresno. So fatty liver disease is uh, literally, as it sounds, is an accumulation of fat in the liver. Having an accumulation of fat in the liver over time can be as damaging to the liver as drinking alcohol or having chronic hepatitis C. Dr. Reutemann says those most at risk for fatty liver disease are people who are overweight. Other things include um, uh, having high cholesterol, having high blood pressure, poor diet, sedentary lifestyle, lack of exercise. And to go back for a second to the obesity, the strongest risk factor is obesity that happens around our waist. It's called central obesity. Diagnosing fatty liver disease can be difficult because patients may not experience any symptoms. You may have no symptom whatsoever. You may feel, you know, a little fatigue, maybe not your usual energy level, maybe a little discomfort on the right side of your abdomen under the rib cage. When Evelyn was diagnosed years ago with fatty liver disease, biopsies were taken from her liver, which was much more painful and an invasive procedure. But Dr. Reutemann says new technology like the FibroScan can detect scarring in the liver and it's not so invasive to the patient. If the liver is full of fat deposits, remember we talked about that the fat is not around the liver but inside the liver, so the sound wave is going to bump into those fatty deposits and it's going to get smaller and smaller. That's called attenuation. The FibroScan, which wasn't available technology when I was first diagnosed, so that was really cool and doesn't hurt at all. In the past, it was believed that the amount of liver fibrosis was unchangeable, but doctors have since learned some of the scarring can be reversed. In a person who, let's say, is 200 pounds, right, which will be, you know, o overweight or obese, they only need to lose 10% of their body weight, which will be 20 pounds, in order not to only lose the fat in the liver, but to reduce the scarring in the liver. That means this technology not only gives information, it can give hope. So this is some of the options. Evelyn reports her health is stable today, and since meeting Dr. Reutemann more than two years ago, her life has changed for the better. She's been really cheering me on. I've lost 20 pounds, I've changed my diet, um, I'm feeling better from that standpoint.